Hi, I'm Steve Bordeaux. Welcome to the Secrets of Radar Museum. And this is our presentation for Doors Open London, which this year is virtual. After the Battle of Britain, uh, Hitler had decided that instead of trying to conquer the UK, he would merely go around it and isolate them. His plan was to starve them into terms of surrender by cutting off their supply lines. Shortly after the Battle of Britain, the Tizard Commission visited North America and they brought with them a very valuable commodity. It was called the cavity magnetron. This was the first prototype of this device, which would allow the design of mobile radar and the cavity magnetron became a game changer. His development from 1940 to 43 was crucial to the development of these new radar sets. With the proliferation of these sets, it now uh, became practical to install them in aircraft. This really improved the ability of the RAF to hunt U-boats. U-boats were hard to detect. During this time, uh, a lot of them were going through the Bay of Biscay in France to get to their uh, ports. This was an area which was highly patrolled by aircraft, and a lot of times they were overflown, and they didn't even detect the U-boats. With the introduction of airborne radar, their sightings became much more accurate. A U-boat could be detected on the surface from a range of about five miles away. The aircraft detecting the U-boat would immediately radio the position of the craft to the convoy, which would send out a destroyer or frigate in pursuit. 